hey loves welcome back to my channel so in this video that we're doing today is gonna be like a form of a vlog situation and if you've been watching some of my videos you will know that i work at least six days a week right and the only day that i really get to do all my chores and just reset for the week a little self-care routine skincare routine and all of that is on a sunday so today is a sunday and i thought let me you know show you guys some of the stuff that i do to just get myself um ready to take on the next week so yeah if you're interested in seeing that then just stay tuned uh for my new subscribers welcome and for those who are not new and have been here through the journey on the journey with me thanks for coming back for another video all right guys so let's get right into it so as you guys can tell i literally just got up <laughs> so the first thing that i'm planning to do is of course a little morning skincare routine and then i'm gonna wash my lungs it's overdue for some washing <laughs> I'm not gonna do any retwist today because my scalp has been acting up a little bit so I think I just want to leave my scalp free I have a lot of new growth my roots grow out really quickly especially after I get my locks done once I untwist the palm roll and twist my roots are the first to go poof <laughs> but that's fine um, yeah so you guys will see what my hair is looking like so I recently posted a morning and evening skincare routine update. So most of the stuff that I'm gonna be using are gonna be similar to what I had mentioned. However, I showed that I had bought this some time ago from a Sephora haul. It's the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. It has salicylic acid in there. So I had said if I'm gonna use this, I would not be using my Paula's Choice 2% exfoliant which is what i mentioned in my updated morning skincare so i have been sleeping on this guys i mean i haven't been drawing for it as often as the polish choice i think one main reason is because it should be rinsed off after using it it's like a little powder right a little powder and you just add water to it and then you rub it on the skin so i'm just gonna show you a quick demo and it just foams up so when i do use this and i rinse off and then follow in with my regular cleanser which is my first day beauty that i use in the morning right so i've noticed because i tried using this for at least one week straight right i didn't use the pollen's choice and I had some texture at the top of my forehead right here. And guys, trust me, they vanished. <laughs> I'm sure you're not seeing much texture now. And yeah, I've been sleeping on it. I'll be using this a little bit more. I was actually very impressed with it because I try not to use the polish choice just to see how it worked on its own. And yeah, I think it's a good buy. So, Paula's choice has a little bit of a competition here because I still love it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my skincare routine. Some of it will be done in the shower. I'm gonna use this in the shower. And then when I come out, I'm gonna use my serum and my moisturizer. The toothpaste that I'm using is the Arm & Hammer Complete Care. Alright, so as I was saying, my scalp has been crazy. My scalp is really sensitive. And I've been using this shampoo. It's called Danzap Plus Shampoo. It's actually a prescription only shampoo and it's good for dandruff and persons who suffer from seborrheic dermatitis. So it really will help if you have any of these conditions you know to just have to soothe the scalp and heal the scalp so it should be used twice a week 
right? So I don't wash my hair twice a week. Whenever I do wash my hair and my scalp is acting up, I'll use this and it really does work. It has ketoconazole in there, zinc pyrethione and aloe vera gel. So the ketoconazole in this one though is 2%. There is a 1% that's available. Um, I think, I'm not sure if it's sold out here. So now you can get it online, you can get it in stores abroad. So if you have any of these scalp conditions, you can get that or you can buy sell some blue. I actually have that on order coming. That one is also very good for similar scalp conditions. I'm also gonna follow in with a little bit of conditioner. Yes, I use conditioner on my locks. Almost out though. So that's what I'll be following up with. My little bit of shakti hair low leave it spray. I'm telling you guys, I'm almost out of my products. Trust me. And my oils. This is coconut oil and this is jojoba oil. Yeah. So I'll be right back, you guys. or if I just decide to like make little plaits, I would get my bow dryer and I also have a portable headset. So this is it. And I would add it to the mouth of the blow dryer and then I would sit for like half hour to an hour, taking every 15 minutes break or so. Okay, I have to keep it on low and then I will dry my hair like that. But I have more things to do today, so I'm unable to just sit down. You just have to like sit down and watch a movie and just, you know, let my hair dry. But I actually have more stuff to do today. I actually have an appointment today as well for my nails. So I'm gonna try and get out most of the water now with the blow dryer and then I just leave it be so you can air dry. I'm gonna go in first with my Shakti Hair Low Spray. It's gonna spray all over. I'm gonna be using both my coconut oil and my jojoba oil to just massage the scalp. It's usually good to massage your scalp. Not only does it feel really good, but it actually does help to grow your hair so make sure that you're massaging that scalp you know all right let's start the drying process all right so my hair is like 90% dry, right? I just wanted it to stop dripping all over the place. So I'm just gonna rub some more oils in there and then I'm gonna move on to my next chore. I should probably get something to eat though because I'm actually hungry. I'm gonna look about something to eat first and then I move on to my next chore. So here I made some scrambled eggs with fried plantains and I have my instant coffee here from Nescafe with my coffee mate and I have like a slice of melon and a little toast so this is just gonna be my little breakfast for today. So now I'm just ironing my work outfits for the week. This is my white coat that I wear in the pharmacy. 
also while i'm doing this i'm actually listening to a ce that's going on a ce is really short for continuing education seminar a continuing education seminar is one which includes learning activities and programs that are beneficial informative and relevant to our profession credits are also awarded at the end of each seminar well most seminars and for a pharmacist here in jamaica for us to renew our license we need at least 12 credits to do so so while i'm ironing i am listening to the seminar So while I was ironing, I was also doing some cooking. So this is just some rice and peas. And I also made brown stew chicken to go along with it. Yep. All right, so remember I told you guys that I was gonna let the rest of my hair dry while I do all my chores. So I was basically finished with all that I needed to do. And you know, I got some time in my hands, so I decided to do some more drying of my hair all right you guys so i'm finally ready to head to my nails appointment um i had to go freshen up have another shower after doing all those chores i did a little cleaning too even though i didn't um, record it but the cooking the ironing and then i also dried my hair again to do that final dress it's basically drying up so yes yeah, so i'm about to head to the spa so just come along with me so i'm finally back home so yeah i really enjoyed my service it was very relaxing i enjoy like going to them um so i'm just gonna put the name of their place again at the bottom of the screen also they're currently having a 20 percent off on select services valid up until the 20th of august ensure that when you're making your bookings you apply the code on their website if you don't then you won't get the discount <laughs> so i was gonna write the name of the code at the bottom of the screen as well i'm probably gonna relax for the rest of the evening get something to eat and then end off today with my skincare routine so yeah so for my cleanser I'm actually using the Tatcha Rice Wash. I actually have mixed feelings about this wash. I'm sure if you guys have been following me, you know that my ultimate favorite cleanser is the Superfood Cleanser from You to the People. I use that one at nighttime and my First Aid Beauty um, Pure Skin Cleanser in the morning. So whenever I use this cleanser, the Tatcha Rice, it sometimes leave my skin feeling extra dry so tonight i'm gonna do some hydration to combat that dryness
that's it for my vlog today and that's it for my skincare routine tonight thank you so much for watching remember all the products that i've used um they're all gonna be listed in the description box below also for some of the links especially the amazon ones um i get a sort of a little bit of a commission when you click on that link and use it to purchase whatever it is that i use that you're interested in so that would definitely be appreciated if you do want to buy something that i'm using you can use that link to purchase it all right so thank you so much for watching guys definitely see you guys in my next video